keeping up with our motto let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning to all students hello students here is your anu- teacher anuradha sharma from thakur vidya mandir high school and junior college we are here today to discuss the second chapter of history as we have already started this chapter in our previous session today we will continue the same in our previous session we learnt about that there are three types of sources of history material sources written sources and oral sources and we covered our material sources in previous session so let's continue with written sources and oral sources what are written sources all literature that is in the written form and gives us information about the history is called the written source of history have you ever thought that who has written all this literature all these books were these books also available in the stone age era the answer is no the stone age people used to record events and express their emotions in paintings on the rocks here you can see the paintings in this picture after thousands of year man learned the art of writing in the beginning the writing was in the form of signs and symbols again it took thousands of year to develop a script a proper way of writing after that man started writing on pot sherds unbaked bricks and birch tree bark this is a birch tree which is called burj in sanskrit also and these birch trees are found in kashmir so at that time people started writing on the sheets made up of these burj trees bark which are known as burj patras here you can see in the picture burj patras with the experience and knowledge man began to write in different ways he started writing and recording the events that took place around him whatever was happening in the society he started recording all the things at the time of different rulers different kings in india they started writing their orders decisions and donations whatever they used to give to people everything on the rocks or stones in these two pictures you can see inscriptions on the stones or on the pillar and this is a copper plate people also used to write on copper plates now what is included in the written literature let's see so here you can see children in literature we include books on religious and social subjects as you know that india has so many religions people of different religions live here like hinduism buddhism jainism christianity is also there so books related to all these religions are available now also and social subjects 
how the people used to live in society at that time they also started writing about that then there were plays poetry also travel logs and scientific works now what are travel logs let's see as the word itself says travel travel means visit to some place so travel logs are books which are written by different travelers as you know that india is always been a place of attraction for the different foreigners so these travelers write their experiences about social condition and political events of the people of different places they visit so wherever they used to visit they wrote everything in their books how to reach to one place how far that place is from other place what is the speciality of that place so all these things were written in these travel logs many foreign travelers visited india and wrote different travel logs some of them are this is magasthenes he was a greek historian and when he visited india he wrote a book with the name of indica another traveler from china he was a buddhist monk from china fayan he wrote a book named a record of buddhistic kingdoms so there are many books many travel logs are also written in today's time also so you can find the name of few searching some educational sites so next are our oral sources as the name itself explains oral means verbal that is communicated from one person to another it means that these sources are not in written form they are preserved and passed on from generation to generation by word of mouth some of the example of oral sources are folk songs folk tales tales means stories you must have heard many stories from your grandparents about their time ovis ovis also a type of poetry used by various marathi poets and sants in different eras it is a rhythm which sense used to write poems and songs and various literature also and women also used to sing these ovis while doing their household work these are some of the examples of ovis and folk songs of marathi next we will see sources of indian ancient indian history the ancient period of indian history extends from the stone age to 8th century ce this is the timeline of ancient history stone age period of indian history through excavations it means that as we have already discussed there were no written sources available at that time so archaeologist got to know about the stone age period by doing excavations of various places from 1500 bce onwards information can be gathered from vedic literature and in the pre vedic era also literatures were not written they were only in the oral form people used to recite everything but in post vedic time they started writing literature as well so some of the examples of literature are brahmanas the upanishads the epics the epics means long stories as you have seen ramayana and mahabharat during lockdown period you must have watched these two serials jain and buddhist literature travel logs pillar inscriptions etc now this is the flow chart of 
all the ancient all the resources of ancient indian history which can you can go through here everything is written whatever we have covered in these three resources everything is mentioned here next is precautions what should we do while writing history or while we are using all these resources to write history it is necessary to take precautions because any old document doesn't mean that it is authentic it is original it needs to be examined so what we can do we can see that who has written this information who has written these resources does more than one reliable source give the same information you should check while you are searching from youtube you google you should search more than two three resources whether they are giving the same information or not you can also check where was the source created at the same time of the event it describes if it is describing about more morian period so you should definitely check whether it was written at that time so all this is important in writing the history so this is all for today students we have covered all material written oral sources as well as the precautions that should be taken while we are recommending or searching or using these resources so this chapter is over we will continue our new chapter in next session so thank you very much